we got a chance to speak to the cast of Sugar, the brand new show on Apple TV+. Check out our conversation with Colin Farrell. I'm good, Uma. How are you doing? Thanks for asking. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. If you would indulge my gushing for about 15 seconds, oh, good God, man, you are so good in this. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's excellent. I was blown away. And Thanks so much, man. The series possesses a quality that I can only describe as jazz-like. The, oh, the, the I love sharp it. cut, the riffy banter, the splicing of clips from classic movies. Love it's me. very cool. And I was wondering, cool. was that different for you as a shooting experience? I mean, yes, in the way that I didn't, in shooting it, experience the totality of what is then made after the fact and all the all the little segments of films from the past and the music that was put in. I wasn't privy to any of that, of course, but it's great that you say jazz because myself and Fernando Morales, that's what we talked about from the onset, that in the we, we more talked about it in the relating to the experience of shooting the show, that we wanted it to be like a piece of jazz. So we had a structure for the story and what the story was going to be and how it was going to unfold. But in capturing the story, we wanted it to feel like jazz, just in that there was an improvisational aspect to it, that it felt alive, that it felt organic. And um, Fernando was very, very keen on that. And I was keen on it as well. So it's kind of cool that you say that. So you were allowed to improvise a little? Uh, a little bit, but more more to do with the structure of certain moments and how right. those moments were captured or what those moments were. You know, as I said, we had a framework but we were we were literally going, well, you know, we're finished with that scene. But what about if we tried this little moment there or let's capture that or maybe we could do something where he's just on his own or he's, you know, so there was little bits of little kind of grace notes that we found as we were shooting it that were fun. And not all of them, of course, made it into the show, but some of them did. And it was just fun. It kept it very alive as we were as we were shooting it. Oh, uh, grace notes is the perfect phrase to describe what you guys did. I, I love that. Could you. Talk to me about some of your Noah inspirations for John Sugar. I was getting a little bit of Robert Mitchum. I don't know if you were looking at that. Direction. I mean, I love Bob Mitchum and and uh, out of the past and Dirk Powell and Humphrey Bogart, of course, and you know, even William Holden. There, there was there was a load of. I mean, I was just swimming in the waters of black and white films, and it was just fun. You know, it was fun. And Sugar leans into films in a very significant way, where I think yeah. he finds he finds great comfort. They assuage his loneliness, and also they just are a reminder to him of certain aspects of the human condition and a certain romance that is outside of his immediate reach. Um, and that was another, that was a fun aspect to the character when I read it, that film played such a significant part in, in his journey, you know? Is there, and, and forgive me if this is a silly question, I, I know very little about the acting process, but, you know, when you do a character yeah. like this who kind of oozes swagger and cool, in your brain, are you doing that intentionally? Are you walking around going, I need to be cool in this suit? No, because I'd have a panic attack if I just... I, I, <laughs> no, I just think he was somebody... I definitely thought that he probably had a, a a physical, again, that word grace to him. No, you just approach it from, you just, yeah, what how the character feels and thinks about the world and about his place in the world. And, and then you let it go from there, you know? But I kind of knew, I mean, don't get me wrong. I knew the style of the show was going to be sharp right. and the suits were going to be sharp and the car was going to be sharp and the aesthetic of the show was going to reach for this kind of motif of smoothness, but in a very fractured and broken world, you know, and by the end of it, I'm wearing sweatpants. Do you know what I mean? So he starts off in these beautiful yeah. suits and sharp and all that. And by the end, he's kind of broken down and sweatpants and cut up. And so... The physical kind of presentation of the character by the end of the show represents a kind of an internal turmoil that he goes through at a certain stage, I suppose. I, I've got about 45 seconds left, but um, I just wanted to ask you, you did you did one of those Hollywood Reporter roundtables last year, and I yeah. love watching those interviews. I thought you were absolutely fantastic, but the one takeaway from what you did was I felt that you were always learning from what everyone else said. And I get that from a lot of your interviews. And I was wondering how that served you as an actor. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, that's all I learned from. I mean, whatever, you know, from the written, even if you're learning from the written words, you're learning from somebody else's experience, you know, even if it's not direct interaction with another human being. But I've only learned to be human from human beings. It's the only way you can learn to be human, you know, by following from or differing from the example that others set, you know. So I, I find humans... We humans, 
maybe not myself so much in the mirror, but I find human beings fascinating. Uh, you know, I, I find it funny when you read um, something that's written about, I've read things about films that have apparently a central character who doesn't do anything that's quote unquote interesting with their lives. Right. Everyone, everyone is interesting. I mean, there are people that I bore and there are people that bore me <laughs> and, and we bore each other. But even if you bore someone, it doesn't mean you're not interesting. It just means that person is bored by whatever way you present in the world. You know, every single yeah. human being, every single human being has, it's without a doubt, an interesting story behind them. And that's why films are so beautiful and powerful and, and will never tire of material because there's, you know, 8 billion, close to 8 billion individual stories out there that are worthy to be told, you know. Uh, congratulations on Sugar Man. It it it, it goes places, and I didn't expect it to go to some places. And Thanks, I really Uma. enjoyed it. Thanks, Thank Uma. you, man. Thank you so much. Pleasure. For and 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 good luck for the other show this year, which I'm super excited about. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. <laughs> See you later, All man. Bye -bye. See you later. Sugar is now streaming on Apple TV Plus. Let us know what you think. Sound off in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. Ha <laughs>